Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. <laughs> Stan. Or Dido. Dido. Dido, is that how you say that in her name? Thank you, is the name of that song originally. But it's the chorus to Eminem's Stan. Okay. Speaking of him, hey everybody, welcome back to Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. Great measures. This is just going to be for fun. Uh, it's all for fun. Go ahead. I'll let you explain why. Because you. you're Eminem. Because you look like Eminem. You got a new song out, Richard? We get a lot of comments. Slim Shady, Marshall Matters, Richard Witt. That's really what it is. And Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, yeah. I, People didn't know Ben Affleck was Eminem, and Eminem was Ben Affleck. I see that a lot. Richard looks like... Ben Affleck and Eminem had a baby. Yeah. Current Eminem, I guess, because my yeah, yeah, yeah. has got the beard and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to... Clean and sober, got it together, Eminem. Eminem's got 12 years, I think. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Eminem and his sobriety. Yeah, dog. For him. Uh, he just came out with a new album called The Death of Slim Shady. Uh, he killed him. Pretty much, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to listen to, uh, it's actually two tracks, the opening track to the album and the following, the second track. Um, the opening track is like a little over a minute. It's called Renaissance. The second one, it kind of plays right into it. It's called Habits. Just for fun, I think Eminem's a genius. Like I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself to be a stan, but uh, I, I enjoy I, it's a it's a vibe it's a movie. what's that mean Com so the song Stan mm -hmm. is about uh, do you know that song Stan mm -hmm. okay so it's about a, a, an obsessive fan ends up spoiler alert dies you know oh, okay uh, at the end of the song I get it now he's obsessed I'm not obsessed with Eminem by any means he's a bad dude he's an incredible lyricist and I just think he's cool like I think he's you know he's got a lot of humor a lot of button pushing that he does and definitely one of the greatest yeah rappers ever 100 percent. yeah regardless of era whatever mm -hmm. yeah he's just he's one of the best uh so we got renaissance and habits from the death of slim shady all right then coup de, coup de gras coup de, coup, de, coup de gras how do you say it coup de gras coup de gras that's what is the album in parentheses death of slim shady coup de gras okay well, let's do it then. Let's do it. At least this is, will this go into one another? Mm -hmm. I got it set up. All right. Eminem, Renaissance and Habits. Proceed, Marshall. Take this. 
before I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here. Fuck no. We'll split it. No. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van. In a black sedan. Fast as I can. In Pakistan. Getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. It's my shit. I'm gonna spit it. How I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. I'm about to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't say me, say retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up, midget. Been trying to break the habit of saying any R words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a kindergarten. Since Jimmy Carter. Now I'm kidding. Cornered, sitting in PC court with a shitty lawyer Like damn You got an addiction man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription man God damn I miss you Slim You got an addiction man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription man Next time I'll be in your yeah. van was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove yeah, in a mist. Then the mist of poison youth sentences. Yeah. I'm pinning are just a toy with you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just yeah. a lyricist, hear the voice, it's true sentiments. Yeah. Got the women pissed and it seems like men are just off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, I probably annoyed a few feminists. I reminisce on them blowing a fuse over my points of view. Still, I'm devoid of two shits to give. My thinking is primitive, but when it comes to giving it to anybody, boy is Bruce generous. And about as much of a boy. Boy is Bruce Jenner is Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch Man, bitch My speech is free, it's his choice to choose Gender is man. This shit is like opioid abuse, isn't it? Yep. You got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man God damn, I miss you, Slim Woo! You got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man Next time I'll be in your van Times when I lay down to sleep, I argue with myself. Am I the only one who thinks this way? Do I need help? Just a little bit, know a lot of it. I really, really gotta quit. Something's wrong with me. My God, oh lad, it's die hard. Look at you. What's the matter with you people? You're sad that people are mean. Well, I'm sorry, the world is in one big liberal arts college campus. F you, you're all pricks. Mom shaming, dad shaming, yeah, fat shaming, mansplaining, blah, cry babies, attack shady, wham, mad cause they can't tame me. They come to censors like the Avengers, and they assemble like Prince and then turn a word like ginger into the N word. All these pronouns, I can't remember. They are them, theirs, his or him, hers. Into them girls who bought tits to get attention, then get hit on by ugly men who are not in your league, so you pretend you're a victim and meet to them. How fake Nowadays some gals they just cloud chase Look at me with sour grapes and your brow raised Bitch you ain't about head, about face Little white middle age, upper middle class With a glass of wine and your cigarette Bitch get off the internet You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet Parental discretion, mental aggression My head's a Smith and Wesson You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad I got an infrared like a ginger stepkid who pissed the bed I do this shit in jest and it's just a mess in there Put your head and if men wanna wear Lipstick and women's underwear Who cares, this shit is their business Not bear witness be where bitches the Blair Witch on you scared bitches I'm surreptitious and square business just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dresses a Harry Krishna terrorist with the hair trigger but with these buttons I'm always pushing pain I'm always inflicting protesters outside the shady offices livid it'll make you think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it only way for me to explain it is I'm conflicted walking on next shows like if I take it too far is this it part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it I'm so all my statements are basically contradictive like using the f-word for gay is wrong and offensive and insensitive is it me saying the R word isn't wait, wait a minute, which R word? Rape a retarded midget? Not cool. Guys. Would this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it? Okay, screw you guys. Would it make you less angry if Carbon spit it? God damn it? And as far as what I just stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing, I'm not a minted. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me, I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady misogynistic while raising three daughters to graduated from college with honor. Summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably twisted. It's painfully obvious. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever, cause you know that I'm prescription, man. God damn, I miss you, Slim. Hey, you got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever, cause you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your vans. <laughs> I'm just playing, little people. You know I love you. What do you think? Let's hear it. I mean, you already know. You already know everything, right? What do I know? 
What do you mean? I mean, you put the song out. <laughs> I mean, how do you, uh, he just, he, 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 he touches on so much. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about him is how, where he decides to rhyme. Like he'll, he'll, he'll use a word at, the, at uh, you know, and then he's going to rhyme with that word throughout the next line. Mm -hmm. But that rhyme could come in the middle. He could, yeah. You understand what yeah. I mean? It's not, yeah. He is, from, a, from just an English language standpoint, a poetic standpoint, that stuff's, what he's doing is, is next level. Yeah. It's next level. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even just, you know, and, and they've been doing this. I know MF Doom did this. And, and plenty of people, the RZA, the, they, they, they use, they pronounce words differently mm -hmm. to sure. match the rhyme, which is so crazy to me how they can do that, how, they, how, how, how that just comes out, especially in a flow if they're just, because I think that's how a lot of this is done. Yeah. They just get in there and start trying to do stuff, and then they find it, they go, oh, I like this, I like this. But he, he... Yeah, I mean he's a he's next level. So he can mention things like Chappelle, and he can mention and he can have South Park playing in his. Yeah. You know you're you're doing pretty well in your career, son. Yeah. You know when that kind of stuff is is available to you to use. Sure. Um. But it sounds like what he's talking about, at least, the habit, and I like the, I like this because I feel as though some of this. Not being able to touch, you know, the R word mm -hmm. or um, whichever one, you know, you're talking about that. I think some of this um, being offended by everything is going away. Yeah. People are starting to say, come on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if we can't touch anything, then what it. Yeah. Then you're leaving it up to so people that decide they're offended to tell everybody what they can mm -hmm. and can't say. And I'm, I mean, I'm all for, I'm all for the uncomfortability of freedom of speech. Sure. You know, not just being able to say whatever you want, but it being something that could possibly be offensive to somebody. I mean, whose problem is that really? Right. Person being offended or, I mean, obviously you don't want to go with hate speech at anybody, but I mean, even it's who, who determines whether or not that person was doing it out of hate. Right. And, and he's a purveyor of that, to put that on a billboard and say, screw all of it. Yeah. I think it's also, you know, so obviously this is your first time hearing anything from the album. So your knowledge of the themes and the... the idea behind it, I guess, is limited. But I've listened to it start to finish a couple of times now, probably twice in full. Just because there's, th I mean, it, there's so we much. can listen to that song, those there's two songs, so much. I don't even know 20 how, times in a row and you're going to hear something different. I don't even time. know how he comes, I, I mean, he's going to have, like you said, I don't mean to cut you off, but I know he's got themes that probably run through and he mentions so the, some, some yeah, things. Yeah, and that's what I was But there's say. so much information. Yeah. How does yeah. he even come up with another song that's yeah. got different information yeah. in it? So I think... My interpretation of of what I've heard is, and I'm I'm not a I'm not this is a heavy metal channel like mm. that's that's my wheelhouse. I'm not a, a rap expert. From what I've gathered, the the death of Slim Shady and the theme throughout most of the album is Marshall trying to kill the shady that pushes, the Slim Shady that pushes boundaries, right? Like Slim Shady's main goal in life is to mm -hmm. cause chaos. It's like a, a split personality album, I sure. guess you'd say. Like Slim Shady's goal in life is to cause chaos for Marshall. And it's the battle between both of them. Well, but is but it's it also Habits being the name of the song his habit is to 
say things that push boundaries and piss people off. Yeah, or is it, or is there something there where the habit is, is you're being told that as a listener, you have a, you have a habit of wanting to hear this stuff. Of wanting to hear what? Things from from Eminem to abound. Uh, what? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. And saying, you know, ah, uh, well, I'm a prescription. They, what he his role in well, what he he decides to do artistically is push. Eminem's not going to give you anything ever that's not in your face. Hmm. And pushing the social boundary, whatever yeah. it is, whether it's Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, Eminem, or you, yeah, it's gonna, it's going to be. That's what he does. Yeah, he's he's not going to give you a love song, and if he is, he's going to be questioning that love, and he's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think I think the chorus is speaking to the listener, saying, if you're offended by this, it's your fault because you want to be offended. You got an addiction you have an to addi- listening to this. With you, the have an addi- you have an addiction. You have an addiction. Yes. To to pick apart. To That's what it sounds like about. to me. I mean, it could be it's multi. It's probably multifaceted. You know, yeah. and and the ambiguity is running all around, which is a great thing about a great artist. Artist, like that shit's art to me. Yeah. Because he, because of all the colors that are jumping around in it, all the things that he can mention, and I mean, he mentioned Hare Krishna's in there. He he mentioned seriously. Like, I know. Yeah. It's all over the place, and and he, but it's all relevant. It's all relevant, whether it be, and he mentions a lot of stuff that I'm just interested in learning about. And I think he's putting a microscope on things that are way deeper, and how he, and how he mentions what he mentions. And and for instance, I think when he was talking about some of the uh, how hip hop is today. He was sort of rapping kind of like yeah. they mm-hmm. do today. Sure. And, and then the beat changed. Mm-hmm. The beat flipped, which I thought was so cool. And then he got more into his what sounded like a more natural rhythm yeah. for him and what he liked to do, just, just where you can't keep up with him. Yeah. You're trying to, to process a line, and, and, and we all have the brain power to do that. You can think of a million things in a second. Mm-hmm. And, and he's... And you're trying to chew on that, and as and as it, you have to, you have to listen to this music again. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah I, you were talking about you know changing the cadence and changing the beat. There's a song on this album, I believe it's called Road Rage. Are you from? I know you know who Juvenile is. Mm-hmm. He had a song. I think it was like probably the, it was from it was an album, uh, 400 Degrees, it came out in. 96, 98, something like that. And you probably heard, you may have heard this song. The song is called Ha, H-A. And it's everything, every, uh, after every line, he says, huh. Like, it's just, it, but the beat is very uh, well known. And it's very, like, you hear that beat and you're like, that's juvenile's ha, you know. He, in Road Rage, in the song on this album, he, for whatever reason, flips to a very, very similar beat to Juvenile's Ha, and then he raps in the same cadence with the Ha at the end of it. Like, like shouting out to it? I, I guess. I don't know. Like I, like I said, it's, I, I have to listen to it a thousand times to really wrap my mind around it. But it's that type of stuff that he, he's able to keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. Throughout, because I've, as I've gotten older, and I don't know if it's, Attention span is is not where it used to be, or or, or whatever, uh, or interest may not be where it used to be in certain things and certain styles. I can't. I have a hard time starting an album and finishing it, finishing it in one setting. Now that may be contributed. A, a, a you know a busy life may be a contribution to that. You know the the line of work that I'm in. My phone's constantly ringing, and I'm constantly having to stop and talk to people, and this and whatever. Saving lives, man. If that's sure. Um, <laughs> I'll just blow off saving lives. Uh, but it's I I never there's there's a couple of songs on this album that I'm not particularly a fan of, but I never lost interest, and it's like that. What's he gonna say next? 
what am I going to decipher from this t this listen? You know, because there's, I mean, I listen to that those first, that Renaissance song especially because they, he at the end of the the last section of that song he gets into the mind of the hater I think is what he refers to it as and he starts talking about how people were you know they didn't like Kendrick's new thing and they didn't like Lil Wayne's new thing and they and they and he and then he even says like uh, something about you nerds wouldn't even like y'all y'all probably didn't even like Thirty Six Chambers yeah you know like pick a party and he says Picasso like, there you go yeah yeah and. I don't think I heard that till the second listen, you know. Um, and just saying, pick apart a, 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 a Picasso. <laughs> right, right. You know, like that. That's brilliant, man. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. I think with a dude like him, for me at least, it's not about whether or not. Even, I mean, of course, I'm listening, and because the the beat on both of them. I mean, there's piano in Renaissance, yeah. which is just cool, and it's just, it's just. And then, and then, while I like those, I love, I mean, I really, really like bass and beat stuff, bass and drum stuff, mm -hmm. whether that's electronic music or there's, there's just other bands that are just bass and drum. Yeah. And I just love the low stuff. And a good bass line is, is it. And at least for me. So I like those beats you know yeah. and then when he changes it it sounds more like a boxer it sounds like it's boxing yeah and and but anyway what i was going to say is i don't i don't i can't listen to his stuff and think do i like this i don't judge it based on whether or not i like it it's already it's all it should be already be considered high art mm -hmm. so whether or not you like it does not matter yeah. In some sense, it is. It is good. Mm. It is worth listening to. It is. That dude's thinking, and just and you and you already know it. You know he he shouts out the things that he he talking about influences before. He 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 illuminates those things. He illuminates society, and he's hilarious. Yeah. All the stuff in the background, the the little people talking, and the car. I mean, that stuff's funny. Yeah. But it's also so relevant that he he makes it he makes it something that you should laugh at, that you should laugh at, and he's laughing at you because you're upset about right. it. Right. Yeah. And and he's in a unique position now to where he's already gone through the fire. I think he's mentioned the slim shady stuff to say. You know, this was difficult for me to go through in some sense mm -hmm. and probably drove him to some drug use and, and whatever else. And then, I mean, even the D12 band that he was in, they were really, they were really pushing some envelopes. There was some nasty shit, nasty stuff that they said. But now, I think he, instead of maybe killing one off, maybe he's merging the two mm. to try to show you this is the same dude. Okay. You know, it's just not an alter ego. This is who this is who that guy is. This is just what he does. I don't I don't know. I don't sure. I don't know. But I'm just so there's no other lyricist that with his voice and the sound of his voice does that mm -hmm. and can do so much with it outside of what even the words are that he's saying. Yeah. Just how, I mean, regardless of what any of those words mean, just the euphony, the sound of the words and how he does it is enough yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. I know we could talk about this all day. We could. But I'm glad we did. I mean, Eminem, hey, man, holla, Marshall. Yeah, nobody will probably watch this one, but. I mean, I don't care. I, it's just funny, like, we get a lot of comments and. Yeah, but I, this music is some of the best music on the planet. It's good, yeah. It is. Yeah. And, and just from my, from what I really like, I love the, I love this genre. Okay. I mean, good hip hop is, is, totally conscious. Yeah. Cool. Whatever, bro. Thanks for watching, everybody. We are Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. That Great Measures. That was Renaissance and Habits from Eminem from his newest release. Good stuff. Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Uh -huh.